Okay, perfect. All right, I'm uh-huh, just bro. I'm doing this for the first time on my computer, so I just want to make sure it all worked. Oh yeah, you're good. Uh, the Zoom. I usually do it on my cell phone. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, on the computer, it's obviously you know different different view, a little better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. What's going on? What are you up to? Not much. I've just uh, just been playing around with Kartra. Um, I've got the one the one realtor guy just waiting, itching to sign up using my link. But I told him I just got to get comfortable with it just a little bit before I, you know, send him the funnels that you sent me and kind of work on them. Yeah. Um, the only thing I really did right now is um, complete my my calendar just for the strategy calls. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only, I, I just had a couple questions with it in the very beginning, it told me to pick an opt-in form and the only opt-in forms that I saw was the forms that, that you brought in. So it was, so now my calendar, when they click in the, when they click on it, it goes to like a thank you page from like an open house funnel that I had to choose. Okay. So I guess I have to make my own opt-in form um, first and then attach it go ahead and um go ahead and share your screen i'll just walk you through on your end okay you should see like a green button at the bottom that says share yeah that says uh do you want to share desktop or application uh, you could shoot. You could you could do desktop because that's all you have open is that web is that tab. It's just gonna share whatever you whatever you have open. Oh, I see. Perfect. I just see your Kartra. Perfect. Okay, cool. So you're in. Okay, yeah. So when it comes to the calendar, go to um. Let's let's get out of here real quick. Go to my forms. When it comes to the calendar, you have to have a form set up first. Um, okay. That's kind of ideally what you want to do is, is set up the form first and then also set up the thank you for scheduling page. So all you have to really do is just visualize just a simple funnel and really a simple, in, in your case, in my case, what a simple funnel is, is three pages. Mm-hmm. Um, other than the calendar, but even, even, but, but the calendar has, has that third page. So for example, three pages, landing page, that's the opt-in page. When they go there, they fill out the form, they click submit, then they then go to a thank you page. That's the second page. And then on that second page, depending on what, well, yeah, you know, in our case, we're trying to get people to schedule an appointment. So if I, if I send that page to a realtor and I want them to schedule a call with me, they go to the landing page, then to their name and number, they go to the thank you page. And then on that thank you page, I may be telling them to schedule an appointment. They click, it opens up your calendar. They schedule an appointment. Once they schedule, they then go to a thank you for scheduling page, which is the third page. So okay. the form, the form. So, so, so in, in other words, you have two forms. You have a form that's gonna go on the landing page and then you have a form for the calendar because that's okay. its own form as well. So, so it goes, so, so I have a landing page to say, Hey, schedule a call with me. They click submit. It goes to my calendar. They pick a time date. And then when they click that, it goes to a thank you for scheduling. Yes. Page. Which is a, yes, which is, yeah, which is a, a, a page. And that page is, is super important because as you really dive in, as you really dive into Facebook ads, each page is, is very important. Each page within a funnel is very important. Not when it comes, not just when it comes to car trip, but when it comes to Facebook advertising, because you want to be able to track the activity that's happening on, on all these pages. Mm-hmm. So for example, if I'm running ads and I'm trying to get clients, I'm trying to, you know, get social media clients. And I've been already, you know, bringing on clients, let's just say for the past six months and clients have been scheduling appointments with me and they go to my calendar, they schedule the time, they end up going to a thank you for scheduling page, Mm -hmm. that page, this entire six month period, I've had my Facebook pixel on it. 
So I'm tracking who's actually scheduling a call. So then when I go and run another Facebook ad, I can exclude those people. Oh, gotcha. Right. So, so that's why every page. And, and so for example, again, backing it up to the second page, well, if you go to the first page, the landing page, I send someone there, they opt in. They then go to a thank you page. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring or thank you so much for, you know, downloading my free how realtors crush it on social media tip sheet, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, but it's a, it's the second page. It's the thank you page. Those are people that, that that's a page that my Facebook pixel was also tracking. So again, I can exclude these leads because at that point it's a lead. You know, it's someone that actually opted into my page. Now I'm going to be able to, to count that as a lead because it is a lead. They haven't scheduled yet. They haven't got to the third page, but they have, they have got to the second page. So these, these pages are important. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is once you dive into Facebook ads, you'll be able to track it all. And that's, mm -hmm. those are, those are audiences. Those are Facebook audiences that you're going to either include in future ads or you're going to exclude from future ads. You know, okay. so, so the thank you for scheduling page is very important. So, so when it's asking me to pick an, pick an opt-in form, mm -hmm. is I just now just for my calendar sake, yeah, um, yeah. cause I understand what you say about realtors, but when, when I like, when I tell people, Hey, schedule a call with me, here's my link. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Calendar, mm -hmm. Do I need the landing page for my side? Oh, or no, you can okay. send them straight to your calendar. Okay but I still need the thank you page after, right? That's yeah, the opt-in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's not the opt-in. That's the, that's the thank you for scheduling page. Oh, okay. Maybe so, I got confused because when I did my calendar, it, 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 made, it made me pick an opt-in form. Yeah, this is, yeah so we got we to gotta choose a form right here. And then, and then we're going to tell the system, okay, when they fill out this form, send them to this thank you page. Okay. So, so I can't just send a realtor, my, my calendar. Mm -hmm. Like if I set up my calendar, oh, yeah. they're automatically going to get the landing page. No, the calendar is not a landing page. So for example, let me share my screen. Let me show you my calendar because this is actually what most do because not see. Um, because I don't, I don't really send my calendar to people. I'll always, um, and let, and let, like in your case, I'll email you my link. But 100% of my real estate clients, 100%, well, actually 99.9, 99.9, because there are some agents where I'll email them my calendar link, they click on it, they schedule the time, but these are, these are already clients. But in oh, the very okay. beginning, as I'm, as I'm, you know, marketing, as I'm reaching out, as I'm trying to schedule an appointment, like 100% of that, of that time, I ask them, Hey, okay, great. What time works best for you tomorrow? send me your best time in your email. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. That's my exact line, exact word for word. So nine out of 10 times I'm coming over here to my calendar and I'm scheduling it for them. So they're not even seeing my thank you page. But in your case, if you're just, you know, sending your calendar out to people, which you totally can, um, it'd be your calendar link. So over here on the left, it'd be my calendars and you'd have your link. Mm -hmm. So, you could take this link and you can, you can share it. You can, I would use the link for everything. So, so, um, whether it's clients, whether it's, whether it's future clients, whatever, whether it's prospects, whatever, I would use my calendar for everything, but here's to answer this question. Here's, here's what it is. So just get the link and then there's your link for, for, you can start sharing. But if you're just sharing it and, and people are going to it on their own, they come mm -hmm. over to your calendar they schedule the call. Let's say they schedule this time over here and then they fill out the, so this is the form. So that's where we're at right now. We're in my forms. This is the form. And when it comes to the calendar, depending on when it comes to the form, depending on how you're going to be doing these calls, if you're going to be doing phone calls, maybe you want to add the phone number right there, request their phone number on this form right here. But in my case, I just do zoom for everything. So all I need is your name and email. And then that's what I email you, right? You got a, you got the email from me for today's call. It's just my zoom link. Right. But depending on what you want, that's all in my forms. So that's where, where you and I are at right now in my forms. We can, we can ask for whatever, but here's what happens. 
as that person comes here and they schedule that, schedule that call, they click submit. They then go to this thank you for scheduling page. Strategy call confirmed. But the reason why this is so important, again, as I'm saying, mm -hmm. is because look up here in the top right. I'm, I'm pixeling them. So through my Facebook advertising, I'm categorizing everything under people who scheduled a call. So if I go pull up my analytics, if I go pull up my, my audience, I can pull up, okay, these are all, now it's not gonna give me name and number. Facebook, that, that's, not, that's not what you grab through Facebook, is, is name, phone number. No, that's what, what Facebook grabs is data. So they'll just grab data. They're, they're cooking everybody. They're pixeling everybody. So they're, they're, they, they have a cookie on everyone's browser. They're tracking data. They're not giving you name and phone number. You're getting your name and phone number through your Kartra, through your CRM, through wherever they opted in. That's where you get your name and number from. But Facebook is just tracking the data. Facebook is just putting everyone who lands on this page in its own audience. Now you have to set that up, but at the same time, that's what, I, what I've done. So now these are all people who have scheduled a call. Okay. And so again, if I'm running Facebook ads, I'm going to exclude them because I don't need them seeing any more ads. They've already scheduled a call with me. Make right. sense? So, yeah. so this, so this is the that we're on right now, strategy call confirmed. Uh, how did, where, where do you go to make this? Thank you. You just create a, a create a simple page. So go back to your, um, go back to your account or share your screen. Okay, so let's, um, let's open up that. Actually, you know what, let's do this first. Let's, um, and here's, here, here's a tip. Here's what I do too. Yep. Go ahead and close out that, um, close out that, that my profile Zoom tab. Close out that tab, you don't need that tab open because I'm gonna have you open up a couple tabs at the top and just so you don't get. Uh, oh, this right here? Yeah, yeah, you can close that one. I think there's another one here. That's, oh, that's my email. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. so here's what I normally do. Yeah, you can close that one too. What, what, I, what I do is as I'm in here, I'll have a multiple sections, my communications, my pages, my forms, my calendar, because if I don't have multiple tabs of these things open, then, and, and I'm only right here in this one tab in my forms, the moment I go into, into my form and I click on those three dots and I edit and I go into the actual editing of, of it, if I need to add a link or or, or if I need to add something and it's in my communications or if it's in my pages or if, it's, or, or if I'm looking for my calendar link, whatever, then I have to get out of that and I have to go and click on this. But what I, what I do is I'll just right click. So like hover over my pages, for example. Don't click on it, just hover over it and just right click and open a new tab. So let's have, let's have, these, let's have these open in, in, in separate tabs. So if we ever have to reference back to them, we can just, we can go back. Because sometimes Azure, Azure, for example, watch hover over my communications, right click that, open in a new tab. As you're in my communications and you're writing out an email, you may want to link a page to that email. And now you'll have a tab open right there where you can easily go open up that other tab and go grab that page link. Okay. But if you didn't have that tab open, you'd have to get out of that email. You'd have to hit, you know, done, exit, completely get out of it just to come back over here to click on my pages. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, that makes it a lot easier. I think I, I, I think that's what's happening to me when I was trying to do the emails for the calendar. It yeah. Just, I'd have to keep redoing them. I didn't understand why. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to get out. Go back yeah. over here, see what the hell you're looking for. Yeah, so I just have tabs open. And, and in, in your case, I mean, majority of the time, Mike, in our case, all I really use, I mean, me, I'm selling products, like I'm selling my book, I'm selling a membership course. So I, I'm in my products a lot. But, but for you starting out, it's really just my communications, my pages, my forms, and my calendar. But even, even with my calendar, I don't even really have it open normally because I'll just save my link. So just like I showed you right now, how I showed you, I went to my calendar. I had it bookmarked already. Mm -hmm. So I'll just bookmark my calendar link and I'll use that link for everything. All of my appointments go through that calendar, whether it's an opt-in form, it doesn't matter. I use my calendar for everything, but I, so I have that link already bookmarked. So I don't have to either ever really open up my calendars unless I'm editing my schedule. Um, 
So normally nine out of 10 times, it's really my communications, my pages, my forms that I have in three different tabs that are open. Okay. So that That's right good. there will save you a lot of time. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, so let's go to, let's, so, so let's, I guess we're going to focus on calendars. Is that this whole call? Uh, so, well, that's just what I, what I got to at this point. Okay. Is, is getting my I don't want to go too fast for you. Like I could freaking do, I could talk a million miles, million. Yeah, words a second. No, I, know. I don't want to overwhelm I mean, you. I your, your pace. Um, but no, I just uh, don't want to overwhelm you with a bunch of crap. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. have like specific roadblocks, like we'll focus on that. So if it's the calendar, then let's right, crush right that. Now it's just getting my calendar because what I would like to do is, is go on my Facebook page and say, Hey, you know, schedule a call with me. Here's my link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring it to my calendar and then we click on it and then do the thank you page and then sort of start generating some, some calls that way. Cause I don't have a YouTube yeah. channel with you yet. Yeah. Here, here's yeah. what I would do. Here's what I would do. I, I'd go, here's what I would do if I were you, I would actually kind of try to, I, I would rather than sharing a link like that, Okay. I would, I would probably build a simple personal blog. Like I'd, I'd probably, and, and, and again, if looking at, you know, hindsight, looking at everything, you know, now where I'm at now mm -hmm. in the beginning, I, I probably would have did that. I would have probably created some type of page with, with my, you know, information with my credibility. But then again, I, 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 I didn't, um, but in your case, without a YouTube channel, without a huge following yet, without a bunch of realtors at your disposal, mm -hmm. maybe having like a, like, a, like, a, like a brand page, which I'll show you what they look like. Maybe okay. having something like that that has, has your credibility, your, your previous experience with real estate, like, like maybe a, a, a simple little bio, a, a cool image of you. And, and, then, and then in there, there's a link to your calendar, like, having and it and it's simple it's like a one pager it's not like a, it's not like a full blown website it could be a simple one pager which is what what face what Carter calls like a personal brand page okay but but they look cool and and again the whole intention would be to get people to schedule a call but i'd rather share that page like share that page on social media so people can click on it get to know you see who the hell you are what you're doing your services that you're offering now your a bio of the fact that you spent 10 years as a real estate agent some cool pictures of you and your family. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe a link, maybe social media links at the bottom in the footer that, that tie to all your platforms and all your platforms are, are, are listed under your company name. Just a little bit of credibility, a little bit of social proof, a little bit of credibility. And it takes one simple page. And again, on that page, you're simply saying, Hey guys, and if you'd like a free strategy call, if you'd like to really, you know, pick my brain and, and, and allow me to show you these different tips and tricks on what real estate agents are doing nowadays on social media to capture more leads and build their personal brand fast, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a free strategy call. Looking forward to speaking to you guys. And that's a simple paragraph that's below a picture of you and your family. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds, that, that actually sounds awesome. Sharing something like that would be pretty cool you know, would be pretty cool. Um, and maybe even put in an, a, a, a simple intro video on that page, a simple intro. So when they go to that page, yeah, they'll see a couple images of you and your family, but then there's also a, a, maybe a 30 second, you know, video. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to my page. My name is Scott. Just wanted to personally introduce myself and kind of give you a little background of where I'm coming from and, and how I just developed this passion on helping real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. Here's what I've been able to do so far and here's my background. That's a quick little intro video that people can see right away when they land on your page. And again, that's no, something I, cool to share. Yeah, I think, I think that's awesome. You know, so, mm -hmm. so, um, so here's what you want to do. So then let's, let's, let's do, so, so we're going to, we're going to knock out a calendar form, but to also, and we're going to knock out the calendar, but to do that. And, and, and it, and it just, as you start to get to, to know this stuff, you, it's going to, it's going to be like the back of your hand. Like you're going to know it, like you're going to be able to visualize the, the sequence of how it flows like in no time. Cause it's really just a few pages, a few components. And so it, it really just comes down to knowing how it flows. A person goes to a page, they opt in, they go to a thank you page. So the form that they're filling out on that opt-in page needs to go to a thank you page. 
So in this case, form, okay, so the form, they fill out the form, where do they go next? That's how you want to kind of, that's how you have to kind of know it. So if, if, if they fill out that form, they click submit, they're going to go to a page. Okay, cool. So that means we got to be in my pages. That means we have to set up a thank you page to tell the form where to take them. Gotcha. So that's why what I do normally is I'll set up the opt-in page and I'll set up the thank you page first, and then I'll set up the form. Okay. Sorry. What was the, what was the first part? You said opt-in. I'll set up the, the opt-in page and then I'll set up the thank you page and then I'll set up the form. Because as we set up the form, the form is going to want to know the thank you page. Right. So I'll set up the opt-in page, the thank you page, and then the form. Okay. That's kind of the blueprint that you want to take for every single project. Now, when you say, just so I have an understanding, the opt-in form, is that the same as saying landing page? No. Well, yes, 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 and no, but they're two different things. Okay. They're two different things. You got the landing page, and then you got the form that is on the landing page. But the landing okay. page has to be created first. And it does, it's not like it has to be all decked out. It just has to be set up. It just has to be, it has to be there. And then you can go back and edit and take your time freaking, you know, making it pretty. But we have to plug it in. So it's the landing page, the thank you page, and then the form. Okay. Those are three different moving parts that all connect together. And, and we set up all three of them independently. Okay. Okay. So landing page, let's go to, let's click on my pages. Okay. So, and then also what you want to do as well is get in the habit of categorizing all this, because as you click on my pages, by default, Kartra brings you to all categories. And as you start to build out these pages, it's, you're going to come, you're going to come here. You're going to click on my pages. It's going to be there in all categories and you're going to see 50,000 different pages and you're going to be like, holy shit, where's, where's what, you know what I mean? Right. So if you can start putting like the R E A B L F, that's one funnel. So that one funnel actually it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it is or it's not, but, but I would make it one funnel. So call confirm page, thank you page and the buyer's list funnel page, which is the opt-in. So, right. so those three pages right there, for example, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Those are the three pages that really every funnel consists of. Um, so if that's the, 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 if that's the funnel, it's a, it's a buyer's list funnel. Okay, cool. So then let's put that in its own category. So then when we click on my pages, we can click on all categories, hit the drop down, and we can go to that funnel right away. Rather okay. than trying to have to look at 50 different ones here that are all different, right? Because then it gets super confusing and overwhelming. You're like, holy shit, where's my, where's my page? But if you start categorizing everything, then you'll find it quick. So hit that drop down, all categories. You might just have shared. Yeah, you just have mine. You just have shared funnels. So what we want to do is we want to take it out of shared funnels um, and we want to create our own category. So create a category of the REA BLF. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to, let's start with the, um, let's start with the landing page. So the buyer's list funnel and whichever one, let's start with whatever one you're, you're, you want to focus on. So, um, is it that one? Is it the buyer's list? Um, like if I'm going to work with a realtor, um, I might want to start with probably the seller guide because that Perfect. we already have a, a seller seller guide thing ready to go okay let's focus on that then so okay. you got the seller guide opt-in and 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 here's the thing too you you did a great job with abbreviating and putting a prefix there r-e-a-s-g-f that's what mm -hmm. you want to do so so get in the habit of that of, of of labeling it like that because as you build out more pages it's easier to find them um and so the category, let's put that in its own category. And the category could be that. It could be either seller guide or it could be R-E-A-S-G-F, whatever, whatever, whatever you want. But here's how we do it. So, so opt-in page, thank you page, call confirm page. And, and to tell you the truth, the call confirmed, the call confirmed page, it, you don't need one for each funnel. It could be the same one for all. 
Okay. Because it's just general. It's just a very general page. It's it's connected to your calendar, and your calendar is general. Your calendar is not for a specific funnel. Unless it is. Like I have calendars that are for, for very specific funnels, but at the same time, in your case, you're not gonna need to start there. So um that can be a very a very you know that could be one page you don't need four different call confirmed but you can you can if you want for sure you can if you want um okay and i okay. guess just leave it that way just leave it that way i don't want to confuse you just leave it that way <laughs> okay yeah leave it that way you could leave it that way um so three pages opt-in thank you call confirmed so click on the three dots of the opt-in the seller guide opt-in and then let's go into that real quick. So hit edit. Okay. And then, so right there in the category. So we're going to take it out of shared funnels and we're going to create our own category. So right there, click on manage my categories. Right below it. Oh. No, above it says manage my categories. No, below in, in, in little letters blue oh, to the right. Sorry. Yes. There we go. So now you're going to create a category and, and, and let's, you can call it seller guide. You can call it freaking whatever you want, you know, but, but it's, it's all for these funnels for, for these pages, I should say for this one funnel. Perfect. So click on add and then, and then done. So now it's going to bring us back and then we're going to hit the drop down, and then put it in that category. Perfect. Oh, hit edit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so as I come into a page, um, whether it's a page I'm, what's that? What's that? I'm sorry. Oh, you say something? oh, no, no. Okay. As I come into a page, um, whether it's a brand new page, whether it's something that I'm about to work on and it's a shared funnel, whatever. The, norm, the, first, the first thing that I normally do is I'll click on settings in the top left and I'll make sure that the tab, you see, you see these tabs at the top, Kartra, Kartra, like the title. I want to make sure that that is updated like right away before I forget. So it's normally, I, I just want you to get in the habit of go ahead and just go, go next, 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 go to the bottom. Yeah, start tutorial. This right here is something you can you can go over you know later, but reading reading that is is very very you know important because it kind of just tells you exactly what everything is to the left. But just go ahead and, and go next. Just can you can you minimize that? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that little zoom window was in the way. Yeah. Yeah. So this just walks you through like what you're gonna see on the left hand side of the builder. So now we're going into the builder. Um, and so that's just a cool little tutorial to read, you know, when, when you get a second or next time you're in a page, but right now I'm going to just give you a crash course. Let's get started. Yeah. Should I do don't show again? No, cause not? I want you to, I want you to read it next time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just take your time and read it the next time. Okay. So the left, that's, that's the toolbar. So that's where we're going to spend our time is, is on the left side. Um, and it's really just a few that you'll click on <clears throat> settings, um, <clears throat> sections and components. That's mainly all that. That's where everything is at. It's, it's mainly settings to update a quick little thing, which I'll show you settings to add your Facebook pixel. But it's, but after that, it's really all the building is from sections and components. Okay. So that's where you'll spend most of the time. And pop-ups, I normally don't do like a pop-up or even an exit pop-up. I normally don't do pop-ups at all. Okay. Um, so again, coming into a page for the first time, click on settings. Let's make sure that the title SEO parameters, the, the title of the tab is set to what we want. Perfect. So your free seller guide. So as people open up this page, that's what they see in the top, in the title of the tab. Okay. So just like you see Kartra at the top of yours, that's what they would see when you open up that page. Okay. Now the description, the keywords, I mean, you could put some keywords, real estate, seller guide, like you could put a handful of keywords, but that's not really, that's not really going to, going to matter at all. But what, what is important and what kind of does matter is 
the description, the, the page author, the title, that information is only important on a landing page. On the thank you page, it's not. On the call confirm page, it's not. On any other page really in a funnel, it's really not. It's only the landing page. And, because, and, and the reason for it is because if anyone shares that, or even in your case, how you're, how you're you know, wanting to share your link on social media, as you share a link on social media, like if you share any link, it don't matter what it is, ESPN.com, like whatever, Amazon, like Amazon, like if you share any link on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, and LinkedIn, those three specifically, when you share a link, there's information that pulls and that's that information. So, okay. so let me, let me show you an example. Let me, let me go to my page. Let me know if you can see my page. Yep. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. So if I share this link, any link, but if I share my link and I just come over here and I post it like I'll post anything else, um, this is what pulls. So you'll have a description and you'll see an image. So let me see here. See that? Mm. So as I share that on any of these platforms, I have, there's the image, there's the, the, the dot com, there's the title, there's the description. So if I, if I post this, that's how it looks. Okay. Which is freaking amazing, right? So, so as you share your links, yeah, this is, this, is, and again, a person would only share or you would only share a landing page. You're not sharing any other page. You know what I mean? So, right. So in, in my case, or like you being the social media guy, if I'm doing this for another agent, I would put the agent as the author. Yeah. Like, yeah. You would. Yeah. If, if it's their page. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and share your screen. Yeah, for sure. You'd put their name. You'd put, you know, a, a description of the of the listing or a description of the open house. Okay. And then you'll also put an image. So click on that blue button. There's the image. So just like on mine, you saw that image right here right. is where you would have that image. Okay. Okay. So you, you select it, so it's selected, and then you hit confirm, and then there's that new page. So, so that, that right there is what I normally do when I first come into a page, a landing page. I make sure that that's updated, the title, and, he, and, 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 and the description, the title, the image, again, is important on a landing page because that landing page most likely will be shared. And especially, watch X out of this part. Right here? Yeah. And then, and then whenever you're in anything to the, to the side right there, Always click that green button apply, which, which you did, but make sure you always click that. Don't just X out and think that it's saved. Always click apply and then you come back over here, just like you did right now. But I just want you to really always know how important that is. But scroll down oh. to the bottom, especially when you have social media share buttons like that. Mm. So if you have those buttons right there where you're, we're actually encouraging people to share it, yeah, for sure you want that description, you want that title, you want that image there. Right. Okay. Right. So, um, so again, that's just kind of good habit to get into is check the settings right away and make sure everything is updated. And then, and then also the pixel, the pixel click on settings again, and it's the tracking code right there. Tracking code at the very, very bottom. That's where your Facebook pixel goes. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so, um, when it comes to a seller guide, when it comes to a seller guide, a real estate agent that's running an ad or in your case running it for them and you guys are promoting this seller guide you're running this you're running ads to this page right here mm -hmm. what you're going to do also is create a, a custom audience of everyone who lands here everyone who lands here but but doesn't land on the thank you page okay that's a powerful audience so they land here but they never landed on the thank you page that means they never opted in. So that's an audience that I want to build. 
because as you start to run Facebook ads, you're going to get a ton of people that land here, but don't opt in. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. People are going to see your ad. They're going to click on it. They're going to come here, whatever reason, freaking dinners burning on the stove and they, they, you know, they leave or they're driving and they just happen to not click on the damn yellow button. But there was some interest because they came here, you know, to begin with. So there was some interest. You saw my ad, you clicked on it, you came here, but for whatever reason, you didn't fill out the form. You didn't download your seller guide. Okay, cool. Whatever. At least I'll, I'll be able to, you know, start building an audience of you guys. And, 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 and now when I start running Facebook ad number two, I can retarget you. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like people that are landing here specifically, that's your warm market. That is a custom audience. That's who you want to keep including in future ads. Show them ad number two, show them ad number three, show them ad number four. These are people who already saw the page. They're somewhat of a warm market. And especially if you keep retargeting them, they turn into a hot market. And before you know it, third week, four, fourth week, fifth week, as you're continually running ads every week, these are people that are, are like, damn, okay, I saw his page a couple weeks ago. He keeps running ads to me. He keeps educating me. He keeps offering me the seller guide. I clicked on the ad before. I just haven't filled it out. Okay, shit, let me go fill it out now. You know, that, right. that's powerful, retargeting. It's, it, the Facebook ads... It, the reason why most, the reason why, yeah, the reason why 99.99999% of real estate agents don't crush it with Facebook ads is because they, they, they'll run one ad for 10 bucks and turn it off. You mm -hmm. have to run ads every day, not a different ad, but you want to run at least one ad per week, which is technically every week, which is every day. And you want to start building these audiences of people who are landing on your page and retargeting them. The magic in Facebook ads is retargeting people who have seen your stuff before, whether they're landing on a page and on Facebook pixeling them or whether I'm creating an audience of Facebook custom audience of everyone who's watching my video. So if I'm running video ads, they may not have gone to the page. They didn't click on the ad, so they didn't come here, but I'm tracking the, 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 the minutes watched of my, of, of my video. So therefore, if, if I put out a four minute video week number three and X amount of people watched half of it, that is a custom audience. I'm going to show them Facebook ad number four. So I'm going to keep retarget. That's why video is so powerful because you can retarget the people who are watching it. And, and, and so most real estate agents shoot their, shoot themselves in the foot because they never get to that point that they don't even give themselves a chance. They run one ad for 15 bucks and claim they didn't, it didn't work. It's like, right. Holy shit, bro. You didn't even give yourself a chance. Like you got to build an audience. These people don't know you. You're running an ad to a cold market. Yeah. You lived in Florida for 57 years, but don't think, you know, everybody don't think everybody knows you like at all. Like I've been in San Diego. I tell this to clients all the time. I'm like, dude, I've been in San Diego my whole freaking life. There's 3 million people here. I don't even know my damn neighbors. <laughs> yeah. So if I think that I can run an ad and all of a sudden people are going to engage with it because I, this is my city and everybody knows me. Yeah, right. No, they don't. So with, with ads, they have to see your ad, maybe, maybe watch the video, create an audience of those, show them another ad. You run an ad, they click on the page, you're tracking them with your Facebook pixel. They haven't opted in, show them another ad. And do it like clockwork every single week. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, dude, people, your branding, that's, that's what I tell agents all the time too, man. It's the branding that you're getting out of this as well. You're targeting a very specific location. After a few weeks, man, that whole town's going to know who the hell you are, especially if you're doing video. So, so it's not just the lead quantity that I want to get for you. It's also the branding effect, the fact that people are going to know who you are. Like how else are, are, are we going to get your face everywhere? Like, what are we going to do? Put up billboards on every corner, bus benches on every corner. What are we going to do? Sell direct mail every day. How much is that going to cost us? Yeah. Like how else are we going to put, what are you going to do? Put your face on a freaking decal on the side of your car and drive up and down the freeway all damn, all damn day. Just so people can see your face. Yeah. It's like, dude, what else with the Facebook ad? You're also getting that branding. Like people are going to start recognizing you, dude. That's mm -hmm. powerful. That's priceless. That goes a long way. And I tell you, I'm telling you, Scott, like I have clients, bro, that, that are like on their third week, fourth week of running video ads 
that literally come back to me and say, David, I went to the grocery store. I swear to God, bro, my client Heather told me this. She said, David, I went down to the grocery store and people recognized me. They told me that they saw me on Facebook. And That's they're not awesome. my Facebook friends. They don't even like my business page, but they're telling me that they saw me in their newsfeed. I'm like, Heather, I'm like, that's the power of what we're doing. Like people are going to start recognizing you. You're going to turn into a freaking local celebrity. Yeah, that's awesome. You know? So, so let's click that yellow button, hover over it. Don't click it. Just actually, yeah, click it. And then that pencil. This is where we tie the first opt-in form to. So let's click on that. The pencil. There we go. Oh, okay. And then this is where we put the form. Oh, okay. So right there in the link. So it's always about the link. Okay, and then, and then, and then there's a pop-up form. So there's already a form there. So here's what I would do. I would save that form, um, the template at least, at least the template, and you can just use it over and over and over. Um, is, this, is this what you're... Are you, are you talking about um, me for social media setting this up or is this for like well, realtor? It doesn't matter. It, it, it's the same concept for whatever you oh, want to do. Same concept. Okay. Gotcha. It's the same thing for everything. Um, okay. In this case, it's a listing or it's a seller guide. Um, it could be for anything. Right. So, so this form right here. So click, click right there where you're at the cursor, click right there. Actually, I, I thought your cursor was over in the middle. I'm, my bad. Go back to pop pop an opt-in form. Yeah, click on that, and then and then and then to the right. Actually, that's my cursor. My bad. Go <laughs> go to the right. Go to the right. Over. Send me your tips. Right there. So click on that. So so here's the deal. We're in the link. We're telling Kartra. Okay, when people click on that button, pop an opt-in form. But at the same time, I can, I can apply this to anything. If they click on that button, send them to another Kartra page. If they click on that button, link them to an external URL, which is like, a, like Facebook. When they click on that button, send them to my Facebook page. So I can send them to wherever. I can pop a video player, scroll down more to the left, look at that whole list. They so can click on that button, and I can send them to my calendar. So that's, that's, that's what I would want to do, right, for yeah. what I'm doing? Yeah, like for this sure. Page here would be like, th this is what you're talking about with me, my family, a video. Click here. Yeah, and yeah. Then yep. my cart, my cart yep. calendar, yep. and then it goes to the thank you page. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. So in this case, let's let's leave it at pop-up form. Scroll to the right. Click over. Send me your tips. And then now, so so we're telling Carter when they click on the button, we're gonna pop up an opt-in form. But now we gotta hit that pencil to tell them to tell Carter which opt-in form. So that's the opt-in form right there. You hit the drop down and you'll see diff all your forms, but that's the one we're going with right there, the seller guide funnel. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So click apply. Always want to click apply. And then the button, you know, you could change the style. You can add a field. So there's many things you can do right here, but click on button, the top button. So you can change the text. You can change the color. Did you um did you uh in, um install the the uh, color pick eyedropper? Uh, no, I haven't done anything. Okay, go to your, open up a new tab real quick. Um, uh, this is this move. Uh, trying to. This top part doesn't move. You can move it. Just drag it. Doesn't seem to move. Move button. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, another one. So go to Google. Yeah, open up another tab and just go to Google. And then and then Google color pick eyedropper. Color P I C K and then there we go eyedropper. This right here is a game changer. This allows you to, to match colors, to like literally get like any color on any website and, and, and match it. So when I build out these pages, 
<laughs> I want the color to be consistent. Right. So just add to Chrome. Yeah, add extension, perfect. So now you'll see it. Um, it'd be right there. It should be in the top right, but your your plugins are hidden. There you go, perfect, perfect. So it's right there now. Okay, cool. So now, like for example, go to go to any website. Go to go to go to Facebook. Go to go to fa go to Facebook, or go to freaking Amazon or whatever. Go any go go to any website. Mm -hmm. So as you're, whether you're browsing or whether you're inside of Kartra, it doesn't matter. Whenever you're on any website, if you hover over that color pick eyedropper, so go back to that wheel at the top right. Yeah, click there, that one. So click on it. And then, and then, and then scroll over any color on this page. Oh, I see. So hover over any color. What's going on here? Yeah, click. Okay, so hover over that over the TV. Perfect, right there. Grab that that blue. Grab that blue. So click, click. Like right click or click. No, just left click. Click. There's the code two eight nine. Copy that code, and then you X out of it. So you oh. copy and then X out. Copy. So each every color has a specific code. Mm -hmm. So you could try to match it with your eye as best as you can, but getting the exact code is is obviously better. So now you can go to Kartra. If we wanted to rock with that blue, we'll just simply come over here, open up the color, and that yellow, you click on it, and then you can paste in that code. So whether I'm using it, whether yeah, I'm yeah. using it for for, for um, whether I see a color online and I'm like, dude, I like that color. I'll copy that color and I'll bring it over here. Or whether I'm, I'm doing it in this case with the opt-in form, I want the thank you page to look the same yellow. I want when they go and schedule a call with my calendar, I want that button to look yellow, same code. So that's, that's where I normally use it is I'll just make sure that each page, you know, matches. Mm -hmm. And that color pick eyedropper helps. Okay. Okay, so you can click, yeah, so you can get out of there. You don't got to say that blue, but yeah. so, um, so that's set up. So now that form is set up. So what you want to do is always, and you can always save the form as well. So hit that, hit that red one, just save it just so you know how to do it. Hit that red one. You could save a form, you could red save one. a block, you can save a footer, you can save an email template. And, and I'll normally save these things, these things just to save me time in the future Bec and, and mainly because I want the same consistency in, in a lot. Now you don't have to have the same form for everything, but at the same time, you can use it as a template and, and save you some time. So if you want to just maybe you go set up a, a, a listing funnel and then you'll have the, you'll have this form already saved and you can just pull the form and just maybe edit the text, maybe change out the image in the back, but at least it's already there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it just saves you a little bit of time of having to create a whole new one from scratch. Right. So hit that red, that red tab to the right and okay. then click on the heart. So boom, you just saved that template, the, the form. And so now, so if you hit, um, if you hit, so once this is done loading, hit uh, done. Yeah, so X out of that. And then and then whenever you're in a form, scroll up a little bit, always hit done right there. Yeah, always hit done. And then save progress. So so when you're when you're in a funnel is or when you're in a page builder, I'll always save progress. Hit the green button. I'll always save progress every few minutes, man. Every every five minutes, every 10 minutes, I'll always hit that green button. This right here? Yeah. And save progress. Oh, okay. okay. So that saved it. And then what we want to do is we want to publish live. So hit the green button. Everything is in the green button. So it's public. It's, so all you're going to really focus on is save progress, publish live. Um, and, there, and you can also save the page as a, favor, as a favorite, but you don't need that right now. 
So it's really save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Okay. But again, as you start to get familiar with these pages, it's, it's, it's sections and components to the left on where you'll spend most of your time. That's where everything is at. Your buttons, your images, like everything is in those two things, sections and components to the left. Okay. And then at the top, you can also see how it looks in mobile, how it looks on a tablet. Right. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, let's say, let, yeah, we, so yeah, so say progress. Actually, no, publish live. You already did that. So publish live. And then when you publish live, that's where you can change the link if you want. It, you can integrate your own domain um, or you can simply use, so hit the get the page link to the left, or you can simply, um, use the Karcher default one and change the back end, or you can leave it like that. But I, I would edit, hit that edit pencil thing, and then just change out that back end. You know, that could be, you know, seller guide or whatever. Oh, okay. You know, but, but what I would really here and here's how I do it, man. Here's, here's my real, real strategy. Like when it, when it comes to real estate agents, You'll have a listing every now and then you'll have an open house every now and then, but you're not, unless you're hardcore crushing it, you have listings every day because you got a team and freaking you got listings up the ass, but most are not like that. Most don't have a listing all the time. Right? So when it comes to this Facebook campaign, what I always tell people, I'm like, dude, yes, you'll have a listing every now and then. Yes. You may have an open house every now and then, but what I want to focus on is one thing. Let's focus on this seller mm -hmm. guide. Let's make you the freaking listing king and give this seller guide to everyone and their mother. So the four week campaign, what I want to do for you is I want to run ads, a, a, a single ad, one ad every week promoting this seller guide. That's what it's all about. So if I can bring you a ton of leads and a ton of people that are actually interested in selling, because why else would they download your seller guide if there was no interest there, right? If I can do that, that's, that's the ultimate goal is to fill up your pipe with a bunch of people that are downloading this seller guide. So rather than bouncing back and forth, one day we're going to do a seller guide. One week we're going to do a buyer guide. One week we're going to freaking talk about something different to make it simple. Talk about one freaking thing. So mm -hmm. I'd, I'd reach out to your agent and be like, Hey dude, I know you can do everything. Short sell, foreclosures. You're a jack of all trades. I get it. Buyers, sellers, you can do everything. Let's focus on one. So in this case, we're going to focus on a seller guide. So what I would do is I would maybe go out there. I tell the agent, I'd say, Hey dude, go get a domain. John's 2020 seller guide.com. And that becomes your freaking link. That's what you're going to brand. You're going to brand this shit all over the, everywhere. Like, and we're going to run ads and that's your, that's your domain. Your entire campaign is going to evolve around this.com. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so, makes sense. So that's, that's how I would do it. That's how I do do it. And, and, and we just go all in. And again, maybe three weeks in, they have a listing. Okay, cool. Let's run an ad on that. But I'm trying to paint the picture and keep it so simple and narrow where we're giving out this seller guide. Because at the end of the month, if I can bring in 400, 500 leads of people that actually downloaded this, they're going to be like, damn, dude, Scott did his job. But if right. you're trying to do all these random ads and you're all over the place with all these different topics, at the end of the month, you're, you're, it's going to look like a mess, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it won't, yeah, it, it just, I would focus on one. I would focus on one. And so there's the link for the landing page, which is an ugly ass link. I'd make them go get a domain and say, Hey dude, we're going to take your, 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 your Jason's 2020 seller guide.com. And we're going to forward it to that ugly link. So no one's even going to see that link. But, but you're going to, for branding purposes, you'll have your own domain. So it's worth the 10 bucks. And again, your entire Facebook campaign evolves around this. Mm -hmm. This is your bait, bro. Like this is your bait. This seller guide, you can capture as many leads as you want. And then that's the thing about, about social media and, and Facebook is that just overall internet marketing, you want to paint that you want to tell them it's like, dude, in order for you to capture leads, don't think you can just run an ad and people are going to freaking opt in like opt in for what they don't know you. You think people are going to really schedule a call with you right away? They don't even know you. So you have to give away something for free. You have to give a seller guide, but I'm the boy, but what I'm trying to say is I'm going all in. 
Like, let's go all in. Like, we're going to run this for weeks, so we're going to crush it and give out hundreds of these things. So it's worth it to go get the .com so you don't have that ugly link right there. Right. You know? So Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, so when you do integrate their .com, you're in their, you're in their Karcher account, they're, you're building out you know, their page. But at the same time, you as the consultant, you should have all these funnels already done for them. And, and that's, the, that's the whole pitch of even getting them on Kartra because they're over, think, they're over there thinking, oh shit, $99 a month. Oh shit, okay, damn, I don't even know how to do all these damn things. But if Scott actually pitched it in a way where it's like, dude, I got all these funnels already done for you, bro. I got the landing page. I got the thank you page. I got the form. I got the freaking email list. I got the, I got the, I got the, um, the sequence. I already set up a handful of emails that are going to go out the moment they, they download the seller guide. In fact, I got a copy of a seller guide. If you pitch it in that way where it's like, dude, I packaged everything up and I put a freaking red bow on it. All you got to do is go activate a damn account and I can transfer all this to your account in a heartbeat. Right. That would get them thinking, okay, shit. Okay, only $99 a month and you, you did all the damn funnels for me already. You got, a, you got a buyer's list. You got a seller guide. You got a buyer guide. You got a freaking listing. You got an open house funnel too. Okay, shit, I'm in. Right. Right? Now, now these funnels that you built for me, am I allowed to send them to realtors? or? Yeah, I dude. You just got to gotta package them all up in, 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 on your side now and then, and, then, and then create a share code. Right. Okay. So, so you, you sent me the funnels, which is awesome. So now I got to attach the, the emails to it, the email sequences. Is that what you you're can, saying? you can, I, I would, I would, since you know, the verbiage, like, you know, what a seller is looking for. Yeah. Like, like, for example, like, um, let's get out of this real quick. So hit close and just hit the green button and, and return a dashboard. Say progress. Oh, no, you already dashboard. did. You already did that. You already, yeah. Return a dashboard. But, but. You know, you, yeah, exit, you, you know, like I know, you know, what type of email to send them next. But what I'm telling you also, in case you don't know, what I would do in this case with a seller guide is those emails, mm -hmm. I would, I would set up 10 of them, depend on how long the seller guide is. Some seller guides are five pages. I got some seller guides that are 25 pages. Some clients, you know, some agents will have their, you know, seller guide through Compass and it's 37 pages, right? So depend on how long the seller guide is, a PDF, depend on how long it is, I would break that seller guide down and those are my emails. Yeah, so, I remember you saying that in some of your videos, like an email could be, hey, remember on page one when I talked yes, about- Yes, dude, this yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so if anything, again, to bring extra value, I would tell the agent, I'd say, Hey bro, send me your seller guide. I'm going to set up these emails for you. And, and I'd get that seller guide in your hand and just go through it and be like, okay, cool. I'm going to talk about, here's page three, talking about freaking curb appeal, talking about, you know, landscaping and how important that is to dress up the property. Okay, cool. I'm going to talk about this in email number two and then go through it. Okay. Page number seven, talking about freaking renovating the kitchen. Okay, cool. This is something I could talk about in email number four, five, and six. So, right. so the emails that follow should pertain and should continue to bring extra value to what they download in the first place, whether it's a seller guide, whether it's a listing funnel and they, and they're opting in because they're interested in this listing. Okay, cool. A handful of emails that are going to follow are going to be about that listing. Right. You know, now, so can I do the emails on my end and package it all up or yes, dude. Yes. It's all part of the package. It's all part of the funnel. Oh, okay. So, okay. You know, so. And that's what I did with you. So for example, click on my communications. You'll see the list that I brought over. Now I didn't, I didn't write out the emails, but I, I, I included the list. There's the list. And then if you hover over uh, commun um, communications at the top, hover over communications at the top, no, in the middle, the top, oh. and then click on sequences. I even included the sequence. Now I didn't write out all the emails, but that's something that you can easily do. There's the seller guide sequence right there. So those are the handful of emails that are going to go out after they download. Okay. So I would set up those 10 emails, which, which is what I, which is what I, what I've done on my end, which is part of my course that I sell for a thousand dollars. Right. I set up a handful of these emails already because I mean, I know what to say, you know, on these damn emails. And so if you do it for them, they're like, holy shit. Okay, cool, man. You got it all done already. Okay. Here's my credit card. Set up the 14 day trial. Yeah. 
Okay. But if you tell them to go do all this shit, just imagine you, you're lost right now with it all. Imagine how they're going to be. <laughs> yeah. No, I, like, I dude, I, they're I, not going to be able to do any of this shit. Yeah. It'll take too long. Yeah, yeah, dude. So like I just brought in a client yesterday, which that video won't be out for another month on my YouTube channel. Cause I have, I have, I have every, every day already, you know, I have videos already. I know, man, I'm watching them all and they're, I mean, just when we started talking, you submitted one. <laughs> Bro, I have, yeah, dude, I have videos. I'm I'm all I'm all the way up to August first, so I have a video already queued for all of July. Um, so that wow. video that I did yesterday, yeah, that will come out in the beginning of August. Um, but 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 it was but but it's a perfect perfect call. It's a perfect call for someone like you. This is a this is a client that I already helped with step one. This is Jill. Her name's Jill. She's out here in San Diego. She's with Compass, and I already helped her with step one and two. Ran the like ad, took her up a couple thousand likes, optimized all of her links, step one and two. This was a call that I did yesterday about step three, which is now running weekly ads, and step four and step five, which is step four is Kartra, step five is Kartra, step four is landing page, step five is email sequences. So mm -hmm. she brought me aboard at 500. I started her at 500 a month. For step three and four and five, right? Yes. 500 okay. a month. I started her, which is, which I'm going to bump it to a thousand next month, but I started her at 500 a month and she pays for Kartra. And this is, I'm telling you, everything is on the call. I'm, I'm t it, it's all on the call, wow. but she's game for setting up Kartra, which I'm going to do for her. And she's game for paying for her own Facebook ads. So she's paying me 500 a month. Plus mm -hmm. I get the commission because I'm going to set up the Kartra for her and she's paying for the Facebook ads. And that whole campaign is going to consist of a listing. She has like a $3.2 million listing that she wants to run an ad on. So we'll do that. But the real campaign is going to, it's going to consist around a seller guide. So she actually a buyer guide, actually sell, it's either one. She has both, but we're going to be yeah. doing that. But my point is, is that that's a client that came back. I already took her for a few hundred up front. Mm -hmm. Now she's coming back to become a monthly client. And, and, and this, and that's exactly what I'm doing with her. I already have everything set up. All I got to do is activate her Kartra account. Um, she's paying for the Facebook ads and I'm starting her at a, re, at a monthly retainer of 500. And they, they also, that's awesome. And they also have to pay for their, just, it's just minimal expense, but they have to buy a, uh, do they have to buy a business email or because their broker has one? That's yeah, they, they can use that one. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. I they can. Go, I had to go buy one for this, but it was nothing. For for which one? For your Kartra account? Yeah, like I had to. I couldn't put in my Gmail, so I just. Oh went. yeah, yeah. You needed an email, dude. Yeah. But so GoDaddy doesn't do the forwarding anymore. No, I I spoke to him on the phone, and he said we used to do it. We don't anymore. He said it's like eight dollars a month, or you can buy a package for three years for like one hundred fifty bucks. Just to, just to simply forward that domain that you purchased from them to a Gmail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. That's crazy. So there, so I found a company called Zoho Z O H O mm -hmm. and for $12 a year. Uh, they can do everything you want. So I just paid 12 bucks. I got it for a year and I just forward it. I just simple. That's all I use it for just to forward. So you didn't purchase the domain through them. They're simply just the forwarding. They're just the forwarding. Yeah. So it, wow. it, it had to connect, integrate with GoDaddy where I just allowed Zoho to connect to my GoDaddy mm -hmm. and then it just all set up. Oh, damn, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's crazy. I thought that's, that sucks, man. Um, okay, cool. So then, so then there's a sequence. That's what I would do, man. I would, I would have these already packaged up, bro. Seller mm -hmm. guide. And it's really, I mean, a listing one, having a listing one is, is cool too, but, but really what I'm really trying to tell you is that the, the, the bread and butter is, is going to be, the value is going to be having that agent know the importance of, of, of staying on topic of one and giving away some type of guide. So either we're going to focus on buying and we're going to educate your local community through Facebook advertising on the process of buying or selling, and we're going to give away a seller guide. That, yeah. That's what I would pitch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't approach an agent and pitch them on, hey, let me run ads for your listing or, hey, let me run ads you know, to, to, 
yeah, I guess for anything else, I would say, hey, let me run ads to capture you leads of interested buyers or sellers. And to do that, I do it through a seller guide type of campaign. And, 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 and if I were you, what I would have set up is I would already, already, I would already have buyer and seller guides. Like I have, I have a ton of them. Like I have my clients send me theirs. Mm -hmm. And so I have a handful already on deck. So the way I pitch it to other agents, for example, is I'll say, Hey man, I already have the buyer and seller guide. If you guys don't already, I can easily send over to, to, to someone on Fiverr, spend 10 bucks and have them rebrand it to you. So I have this 27 page seller guide that's updated for COVID and 2020 and all this other crap, I can easily send it to my Fiverr guy, spend 10 bucks and have it completely redesigned for you. And I have it all already packaged up. All you need to do is set up your Kartra account so I can plug it all in. And I want to start giving, getting, getting people in your area to download this guide. I would now, are you running this seller guide. Now I know the email sequences are all different, but are you running the seller guide all month long or are you stopping and a week later they're doing a video on the seller guide and add on the seller guide or is they're it doing just a video. They're doing a video every week on the seller guide on the seller guide. Gotcha. So, okay. so yeah, we're running that every month. That's, that's the bread and butter. That's the ultimate objective. That's the ultimate campaign. Now that agent may every now and then have a listing to plug in. Okay, cool. Run an ad on that as well. If you have mm -hmm. an open house coming up, okay, cool. I got a funnel for that. We'll run an ad for that and try to get as many people to open house as possible. But the majority of the time, 99% of the time, you're not going to have a listing. You're not going to have an open house. So if I can help you bring leads in of buyers and sellers, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to give away a buyer guide. We're going to give away a seller guide. I already have everything set up. You just need to hire me to get it going for you. Right. So, okay. so being able to focus on that all month long would bring them in a ton of consistent leads. Um, and, and again, when it comes to marketing, giving away something of value up front for free is a great way to capture interested people. And you're right. giving away a free seller guide. Right. You know? No, I, I agree. That's awesome. So, so let's go back to my pages. The thank you page is what is what we what we needed as well. So let's go to the seller guide one. Um, let's let's hit the three dots of the thank you page and let's put that in the right category. So, so hit edit. edit. Right. Yep. Okay. And then edit again. Edit again. Okay, so here, um, again, uh, on this thank you page, what's so important is the settings in the top left. And we don't need to worry about putting an image or the description or the title, because again, no one's sharing this page on social media. Um, but one thing you do want to do, yeah, go through, go through this part again. Okay, cool. And okay, settings. so settings and, and and again on each page I'll do that SEO parameters because I'm 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 just double checking that title. I want the title it's the title of the tab, the page title. Okay. Everything else doesn't matter as I mentioned on on all these other pages, but it's that title. When they come to the thank you page, that's what they see, you know, in, in the title. Thank you. Okay. So it, you can always change that. Thank you for downloading your seller guide. Or you can even put schedule call now, you know, whatever, whatever you want them to do. And, and that's what I have an agent do on this page. On this page, write this down. There's four, there's four main points. And I think I, I think I told you this before, but I'll just tell you again. Okay. Whenever 
whatever, whatever I should say, whatever your, 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 your marketing listing, open house, seller guide, buyer guide, whatever they go to the, they go to the landing page. They fill out the form. They then come to the thank you page. I always tell people that thank you page, there needs to be a video of you. You need to be on video. That needs to be 60 seconds or whatever, but the four main things that you should cover on that video. And I always tell, tell clients, I'm like, dude, only, this is only for freaking one percenters. Like this is only for freaking top producers. This is only for the people that actually want to freaking crush it and stand out. That's you on video. Some agents will put their image right there and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. But if you really want to stand out, dude, that's a video. That's a video of you right when they land here, boom, it plays. And the four things you're going to hit on is you're going to obviously say, thank you. You're going to thank you for a freaking thank you. Thank you guys for downloading your 2020 seller guide. That's number one. You're obviously thanking them. So again, when it goes from freaking a person not knowing who the hell you are to all of a sudden, you know, seeing you on Facebook and because you're delivering value, they actually download whatever the hell you're offering. And then they come to a thank you page and it's you on video again, visually speaking to them. Mm -hmm. That alone, bro, you win. Like right. that alone separates you from everybody else. No one else is doing that. That alone. So in that video, you're thanking them from, from just, you know, from straight uh, humility. You're just, thank you, man. Thank you for downloading my seller guide and make it freaking sincere, right? Number one, you're thanking them. Number two, you're introducing yourself. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my 2020 seller guide. My name is David. I just wanted to personally introduce yourself, introduce myself and let you know a little bit of background and where I'm coming from and how I even came up with this 2020 seller guide. Here's a little bit about me and what I've been doing for the past seven years in real estate. Not a pitch. It's just an intro. Like who the hell are you? Right? That's yeah. number two. And then number three is you're telling them to check their email and you're programming them at the same time. Check your email because I just sent you your 2020 seller guide. You're going to see a link. You're going to be able to download your PDF and you're going to be able to email it right away. So check your email. That should be in your inbox shortly. And also check your email over the next few days because I have a lot of information that's going to pertain to all of this stuff that you're not going to want to miss out on. So make sure you check and open up every email I send from this point on so I can educate you on the process of selling and really kind of share with you what I do for my clients. So check your emails. That's number three. I really stress that part out because I want to, you know, I want to, I want to program their brain to be looking out for my emails and to open up everything I send them. Right. So that's number three. And then number four is to schedule a call. So right below you have the button for your calendar, which is where we'll link your calendar. So get out of that part, go to the, go to the bottom. So down below the fourth thing you're telling them is you're saying, Hey, and if you guys are interested in selling now, or if you'd like to just maybe get my, my, my two cents and really pick my brain and really, you know, I have so many strategies that I'd love to share with you. If that's you and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're there in the process, click the button below to schedule a call. I'd love to jump on, share what I have to, you know, what, all my knowledge on what it takes to sell your property in today's market. And um, I can't wait to talk to you. So number four, I'm trying to get them to schedule the call. Okay. Okay. And so right when they click on that yellow button, so go ahead and click on that yellow button, open it up, edit, and we're going to link that to your calendar. So scroll down, cart your calendar, select calendar. Oh, well that goes to, you can click on that. Yeah. Yeah. So if anything, we can update that one or we can just rename it. It don't matter, but yeah, open a new tab, click apply. And then, and then that's it. So hit the green button, save progress, publish live and return to dashboard. And see a lot of times what I do too is watch scroll to the very, very bottom. Yeah. Publish live and then, and then X out and then scroll to the very bottom. There's little things on pages that I'll save. Um, and it, I guess it depends on what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's something I still save. Scroll to the very bottom. Like the footer, for example. Like if I, if I like the footer, I'll save it. So on any other page, I'll use the same footer. Right. So like I want that branding. Right. 
Like don't put a footer here and then, and then you take me to your thank you for scheduling page and it's a completely different footer and it's a completely different color. And there's, you know, you know what I mean? Like you want to keep everything consistent. Mm -hmm. So whether it's that footer or whether it's another footer, you'll find those footers in, in components to the left. So again, it's sections and components to the left where you'll, where you'll find everything. Um, but whatever it is, all you're going to do is just click on that red button to the very right and you can save it. So now as you go and build another page, you can just find it to the left and just drag it over. And, and all those links, what I would do also is I would link all the social media icons first. I would change out the copyright to your name. I would make sure all that's changed first and then I save it. Right. Because if right. you save it now, it's going to save it under mine. You got to change it again. So mm -hmm. deck it out first and then, and then save it. And then again, that could be the same footer that you put on a open house funnel or a listing funnel. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. So, okay. so that's just a little thing that I do. I, I'll save little things here and there. Little things that I'll have to use over and over and over. Yeah. Obviously, you want your brand to be consistent. So, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Keeping this. Yeah. That, that's why the color pick eyedropper was so important because I need that color. I need that branding to be consistent. I need that color on every page. Same color code. And then, yeah, the footer. And then, and then that also, I also use that um, type of concept for the emails. So as you're building out an email and writing out an email, you can save the template. And it's really, I save it just because I have the icons. I have my social media icons at the bottom of my email. And I don't want to have to keep doing that every email. So it just mm -hmm. saves me time just to save the template and use that same template over and over and over for every email. So the, 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 the branding is consistent and I don't have to redo the icons, you know, every time. So little yeah. things like that, man, you'll pick up, you'll learn just, Make yeah. sure you're, you try to jump on the Tuesday and Thursday calls, man. Those Tuesday yeah. and Thursday calls are going to really, really help you out, help you learn even faster. No, I think you helped me out too, just by getting me started. Now I even know how to bring them up and play with them and edit them so I can slowly start doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that definitely helps. Um, and that video right there, again, some are going to be down for it. Some, some aren't, but again, I, I just, I, I, I can't stress it enough, man. I, I've spoken a thousand, I mean, just people in general are camera shy, but when it comes to real estate agents, 99.999% of them are camera shy. I've spoken to thousands of them, bro, like literally thousands of them on this exact topic, thousands, and 99% of them are, are camera shy. So I just pitched it in a way where it's like, dude, I want you to stand out. Like, and and I, I say it in that way so I can really justify my value, like what I really want to do for you, bro. Like I want to help you freaking crush it. And here's how you're going to do it. It's not going to be a boring ass image of a house. No one cares about your house, bro. Unless it's a listing, of course. But if it's not a listing and it's just a seller guide in this case, and you want to take me here and show me some freaking house, like what the hell? I don't care about a house, dude. Show me you. Yeah. You know, who the hell is the face behind all this? You know, that's how you're going to stand out. So, so I want you to do a video like, and I want you to keep it simple, raw, unedited, authentic, pull out your damn cell phone. Hey guys, just wanted to introduce myself. Thank you so much for downloading my seller, downloading my 2020 seller guide. This is Jason. Like, keep it stupid simple. And, mm -hmm. and so that right there can be a video they do on their cell phone. And what I'll do is I'll have them take that video and upload it to YouTube. So click on, hover over the gray part and go to the edit button real quick. No, to the left, up. <clears throat> Try it's, The edit button's above the gray, right there, right there. That, yeah. So here, they'll do it on their cell phone, for example. And then they can upload it to YouTube and I'll just grab that YouTube link or, or they can, they can simply do it on their cell phone, mm -hmm. transfer it to their computer and then either email it to you and you're doing all this stuff for them. Or if they're, if they're going to eventually learn this part, then the way it's done is you would record it on your cell phone, transfer it to your computer and then upload it to Kartra. And you do that in my videos to the left on the dashboard, not here, but as we're back at the homepage, right. my videos on the left, that's where you upload it from your computer to Kartra. Now that video is hosted on Kartra. So when you come in here, you'll just see it right there. You'll hit the drop down and you'll see that video right there. I gotcha. Okay. So that's probably the easiest if they're not building a YouTube channel or if they don't want to deal with YouTube. I, think, well, I mean, for right now, I mean, the, the ones that I'm talking to, I don't think they're there yet with you. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Right. So, but, 
but it's just good upload to, to Kartra. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's cool. So, um, okay, so so let's get out of here. So we're good here. So let's let's return and then also publish live one more time. Oh, publish, actually, that yeah, cancel. Go to publish live and and what I always do is I always get in the habit of of um, hit hit the get the link to the left. And then I'll just always get in the habit of changing that domain. So again, so is, this, is this seller guide again, or is this, thank this you. is seller guide. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So it's not, okay. Seller guide. Thank you. And, and, and look, here's the deal. As they come to the page, that's the URL that they're going to see. Mm -hmm. Now what I do, and again, in your, in the settings to the left, what you have there is you have, you have, thank you. Like, what I would do in the tab under settings and also in the URL, mm -hmm. instead of putting thank you, like I'm going for a call to action. Like I'm, I, I need your ass on the phone, bro. Like it's not just thank you. It's freaking schedule your call now. Like right here, you mean? Yeah. I would put that right there. Cause that's what they're going to see in the tab. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying thank you in the video and I'm, I'm showing my sincerity and how, you know, thankful I am, but the call to action, dude, click the yellow button, schedule your call. Now I'll put that there and I'll also maybe rename that URL that, that as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what they see. Schedule your call now. Now, not all of them are going to do that. And that's not that that's even aggressive. That's not too aggressive, but at the same time, it's just, it's, 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 it's programming them. Dude, let's talk like schedule your call. Now you just downloaded my seller guide. Obviously there may be an interest of selling, Let's talk. Schedule your call now. I'd love to maybe just, you know, shoot the shit with you and jump on a call. Mm -hmm. Right? Because at the end of the day, we need people on the phone. So rather than just a, a very, you know, polite thank you, I'll just tell it to them in the video. But the call to action, they're going to clearly see it there in the title. And then they'll see it in the URL if they ever look up at the top, you know, in the URL. Mm -hmm. Schedule your call now. That's yeah. what I would do. Okay. You know, so go back to the green. Yeah. Hit apply. Yeah, for sure. And then go back to the green to the, to the right and just publish live. And, and I would, I would, I would rename that URL. Oh, sorry. What did you want me to do? The green, no, the green button to the right. Yeah. Publish live. Even though you already did it, you're going to do it again. So you can change the URL. And again, and again, it just depends on the strategy, man. It just depends on the agent, depends on what you're trying to do. But at the same time, every agent's freaking aggressive. Like every agent wants a deal now. Every agent needs to talk to somebody today, right? So it's like, dude. So do I think go seller guide? Or do I do seller guide, schedule your call now? I would just do schedule your call now. Okay. So name it exactly what, you're, what you titled it. Okay. Perfect. So that's what they see at the top. So copy it, paste it, copy it, and, and just open up in a new tab. Yeah, yeah. Copy the whole link, the whole URL. Yeah. Just double click. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Copy it and then just open up in a new tab. Yeah. So boom, dude, they're seeing a video of that, of, of, of the agent. Hey, thank you so much for downloading your seller guide, blah, blah, blah. And then boom at the top, schedule your call now. Um, and then even in the tab, look at the tab, the top of the tab, schedule your call now. The top, oh, are you hearing me? There and in the tab. Uh, oh, here? No, the top, the tab. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, that's, that's actually perfect. Yeah, right. That's better than just saying thank you. It's like, dude, no, oh, schedule yeah, your call now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Right? Yeah. Yep. So I would do that on everything, on a listing, on an open house funnel, seller guide, buyer guide, whatever. Schedule your call now. It's a thank you page. Yeah. Because that's what I'm, I, I want them to verbally say, you know, at the end. That's the fourth thing. Schedule your call. You know, I'd love to talk to you. So again, some of them are going to schedule their call now. Some of them aren't. Majority of them aren't. Um, and that's why the email sequence is so important. In that email sequence, email number one is emailing them the seller guide. But email number two and on is bringing more value and educating them on that seller guide, but also call to action to get them to schedule a call. 
So in each email from email number two and on, a link to your, to your calendar is in each email. Mm -hmm. Getting people to schedule a call, not just a link in the email signature. No, dude, no one's going to just click on the link just in your email signature. No, dude, a real call to action. Say, hey, man, and I'd write it out. Or I, I mean, again, I, I just take it up a few notches, man. I take it up a few notches and everything that I'm doing, I'm trying to keep it as basic so I don't overwhelm you right now. Mm -hmm. But the way I have mine set up is... And, and this is for my book funnel, for example, same exact thing, seller guide, book funnel, same shit, same exact thing. When you, when you go download my book, you go to my thank you page, it's me on video, telling these four, four, four exact things, thanking them, introducing myself, check your email, because I just emailed it to you, and also check your email, because I got more emails coming your way, and number four, scheduling an appointment. Now, not everyone does at that point. But in my emails that follow, my sequence, in my emails, I'm talking about my book, which is your seller guide. So in my emails that follow, the 10 emails that come after, I'm educating them and bringing them, bringing them more value about what's in the book. But the way I'm doing it and the way I've always done it is I, I'll write out email number two. Hey, Scott, do you remember on page nine when I was talking about step one? Here's what I meant by it. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to a video that I just recorded, screen sharing, showing you exactly what step one is. So rather than just sending you 10 emails of text, what I do is I send you 10 emails of a little bit of text with a video. Right. That's just next level stuff. Now, the agent's probably not going to do that right now, but that's just next level. Mm -hmm. um, where it's a video of me. On screen share, watch, I'll show you, dude. I just recorded, literally, let me show you. I'm not playing, dude. Like, everything I'm preaching to you is, is what I do, bro. Yeah, no, I, I believe it. It's what I do for, for my own business. Look, I just recorded these videos, yet new, because I, 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 I already have them all, but they're, they're about a year old, a year and a half old, so I wanted to, to make all these. And we're, we're talking about after they download my book. After they mm -hmm. download my book, the emails that follow, Okay. That's what we're talking about. So after they download your seller guide, the emails that follow. And each email is designed to get them to schedule a call. But all I'm saying is I do, I do it also in video. So for example, email number two is going to talk about step one in my case. Here's a video. So they'll see the text in the email. They click on it. They watch a video. All right, you guys. Welcome to step one. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, this stuff fires me up, you guys. I'm telling you. As I mentioned on our previous video, when you purchased the book or when you downloaded your free copy, as I kind of walked through on that on that initial intro video, you guys are missing the basics. Okay. See, so that's like a it's like, dude, they're getting email number two, and all of a sudden they're seeing this guy David again in video, and now he's educating me and showing me visually what the hell's in that book. It's like, bro, like shit, dude, like I got their attention. Mm -hmm. Rather than just some boring ass text that they're probably just thinking that's junk mail. And in the in the subject line of the email, I'll even put Hey, John, thanks for downloading my seller guide yesterday. Hey, take a look at this video I just recorded. It's like, dude, that's next level. You know, again, depend on the agent. I mean, not everyone's going to do that. But at the same time, right. you know, um, in your case, building your business, that's what I would do. Anyone that any of your leads that are opting into your stuff, they opt in, they go to your landing page, they opt in. Maybe they're, they're going to schedule a call with you because they want to talk marketing or whatever. You have a handful of emails that go out through your sequence, you, I would put yourself on video, like in, in those emails. In the email, yeah. Yeah, okay. hey John, this is, this is Scott, just wanted to follow up. Hey man, thank you for freaking opting in yesterday. Hey, I did a video showing you my recent client on what we were, what we were able to do to their Facebook ad campaign. Click here to take a look at it. And just a handful mm -hmm. of emails, you know, that, that, that you could put a video to. That would really help you stand out. Yeah. Go ahead and share your page yep. again. Okay, so I literally have 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And bro, you, 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 and bro, you got me in the, got in the morning. You got me in the you morning when the I just morning. killed a freaking cup of dark roast coffee, so I'm lit right now. <laughs> so I apologize for all the talking. Okay, I'll, I, I, I know you got to go. So if you can't answer this question in two no, minutes, then just let me know. No, I can't. But my, my calendar set up. Um, Let's exit out of this. Go to return to dashboard. Let's get out of this one. The only thing that I didn't know how to do was limit how far out my calendar goes for bookings. Good. Okay, good. I'm glad you brought that up.
Okay, so let's go to my calendar. So now we have we have the pages. We have um, even the call confirmed. So we have that page as well. That one's fine. We'll leave that one. Let's delete. Let's delete all this stuff, dude. You only need one. Like, let's delete. One what? Let's delete all these calendars. But don't I have to send these to the realtors? So no. Like, if anything, keep two of them. Keep your calendar and keep the one for the seller guide. But delete yeah, okay. all the other ones. Because, again, when you start building this stuff out, dude, this shit, seller you're going to be so overwhelmed by looking at so much crap. You're like, dude, you got to keep all this stuff clean. Okay, of course. So that's the seller guide calendar. So I'll delete this. That's the listing funnel. Um. 100% of my appointments, 100%, dude, 100% of my appointments and 100% of the time on how I even pitch the appointment, 100% of the time, it's always for the next day. So if we can't jump on a call tomorrow or the next, sometimes it has to be or the next. They're like, David, I can't make tomorrow, but I can make the next day. Okay, cool. That's fine. But if it's anything outside of two days, bro. I don't schedule. Mm -hmm. I don't schedule. Like I have an abundant amount of people to reach. Like that's not a pitch that I tell them. That's re that's reality with me. Like I have an abundant amount of leads. Like I can't even get to everyone. So yeah. I don't chase anyone, dude. I don't chase anyone. If you can't jump on tomorrow, no big deal. Okay, cool, man. Stay in touch. Maybe we can. Maybe we can touch base in the future. But well, it's because I tried to, because you seem really busy. So it took me about four days to schedule. Yeah. The next yeah. Availability with yep. you. Um, so if, so is there a way where I can make my calendar say go out four or five, five, let's say five days at the most? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Okay. For sure. But where I was getting at with that is the fact that, yeah, if, if someone, if someone tries to schedule freaking a week out, First of mm -hmm. all, I don't schedule it. Second of all, it's not on my calendar. Like my calendar, I, I, I cut it off. Like I'll show you how to do it. So okay. it only shows availability up to a certain amount of time, you know? So let's click on edit. So now we have the, actually, you know what? Do we have, yeah, we have the form for the calendar. Um, you know what? Let's go to, let's go to my forms real quick. Let's start there. We'll come to the calendar. We'll come back to the calendar. It's my forms. We gotta, we gotta make sure that that form which I don't think we did, right? We didn't, we didn't go into my forms. Let's go into my forms real quick. Okay, so yeah, so you already have the tab open. So get rid of the red one, the red page, wherever you saw red, close that tab, close that. And then let's go to the, yeah, perfect. There it is, you can close that one too. Okay, so so right here is the um, and let's let's get rid of these forms too, man. Like, let's clean this out as well. Like the course calendar, the course calendar, the course calendar. Like these? Yeah, like get rid of all of those. And then I think it was just the seller guide. Yeah, the seller guide. And you can keep the open house one, the listing one. You can keep those ones, but the other one and the seller guide, of course, but the course ones, let's clean that out. Oh, wait, did I delete a funnel? Oh, okay, so no. am I deleting this one? Yeah. This is the open house course calendar? No, you can keep the open house funnel. Oh, oh yeah, funnels. I think I wasn't seeing the word funnel. I think I was deleting the wrong stuff. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, delete that one too, the course create course calendar one. This one right here? Yeah. This is the listing funnel the calendar. Well, you have that one right there, the listing funnel one. But yeah, the calendar, yeah, the calendar has its own form as well. And you can always just create another one, which you can easily do. Yeah. Okay. But I want you to kind of just focus on one right now. Once okay. you learn how to do one, you can do all of them. Okay. So... Get rid of that other course calendar one as well. Let's just keep seller guide, open house, and listing. Okay, so am I deleting this one? Yeah. 
Okay. I think what threw me off is that it's named calendar. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the seller guide funnel, open house funnel, listing funnel. Okay, so now let's just create, let's just create, um, let's create your 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 form for your. Actually, let, this is for the seller guide, right? Or is this for the seller guide? Or is this for you? Uh, well, I'd like to do one with me first. Oh, if we okay, can. let's do that one. So let's let's click the green one. Let's let's start a whole new one then. Right here. Yeah, the green one. Okay. And, and let's name this form my calendar or whatever. Okay. Okay, cool. So in here, this is for the calendar. So again, depend on how you plan on doing it. I would recommend Zoom, but if you're trying to get people on the phone, yeah, I do. I do have a Zoom account. I sign up for the free one. Okay. Free option. Yeah, you just need the free one. I don't have the paid one. I just use the free one because I'm only talking to one person at a time. Yeah. Okay. So right here, first name, maybe last name, maybe 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 include last name as well. So, so just go to new field. Okay. Uh, and then save. Put mandatory. Put put man. Shift that. You could shift that to mandatory if you want. Okay. Cool. So there, there's that, and you can you can click it. Yeah, you can click it to, to pull it up. There you go. Perfect. So hit save, and then save and next, and then the confirmation. Just do a single opt in. That's fine. Do single opt in. Hit save. And then save and next. Okay, actually right here. So perfect. So now this is what I was saying in the beginning. When they go and schedule a call, they have to go to a call confirm page. This mm -hmm. is where you tell the, the cartridge system what that page is. And that's the success page. So click on that external URL, go to drop down, go to cartridge pages. And then, um, and then select site, just go no site in per yeah, particular that one. And then the page name use the call confirmed one. So see how you have, you have multiple call confirms. Mm -hmm. Am I just picking anyone or? No, you want to, you want to make sure, you know, that's, it's, it's the one, you know, it, so whether it's R E A S G F or it's R E A O F. Cause I'll have to make, but, but okay. Um, so is there one you want me to pick? I mean, it's up to you, whichever one you want to pick. I don't, I don't know what those prefixes are. So, well, this is real estate agent seller guide funnel. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So then, um, if anything, just, okay. So let's just get out of here then let's, let's, let's go to, um, let's, let's, yeah, let's get out of here. Hit, hit. Yeah. Hit, you can get out. Yeah. Hit my pages. Like right click. No, just, just, we're going to just completely get out of here. We got to go back to go, go to my pages, click. Okay. And then just um, go to, go to the, any of those call confirm one, hit the three dots and clone it and name it, name it, you know, something free for you. Uh, like my, like my calendar. Um, call confirm page. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. And then, and then maybe start a category of your pages. So hit the manage my categories. Cause you only have shared funnels and which you're going to delete. And then you have seller guide funnel. So why don't you start your own category for your stuff? Like that. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So hit done. Oh, did I write anything in here? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So you can, actually, no, you already did. So hit, hit done. Okay, so now hit the drop down, go to my pages and just start putting all your pages in that category. Do I hit clone? Yeah. Okay, so as long as we have it set up, you can always right. go back and edit it later, but 
now it's there. Okay. So now we can tie it to the form. So remember, every form needs to have a success page, which is the thank you for scheduling page. Okay. So that's why I always want you to think of three pages when it comes to pretty much majority of the funnels that you're going to be building. Opt-in page, thank you page, thank you for scheduling page. Do those three pages first and then go and do the form. The form for the opt-in page and the form for the calendar but again that calendar form if it's if it's a general calendar that you're using for 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 everything then it'll already be there the form you've already created the form so the calendar form is already done and then the call confirm you're going to be able to use this page or the, yeah this this call confirm page for for anything else when right. it can when it comes to your stuff when it comes to your calendar right so it's not like you have to create a a thank you for scheduling page all the time for your stuff. You already have one now. Okay. So again, when you come into a new page, click settings, make sure that that, because you cloned it. So whatever you clone, it's coming over. So always double check that title. So if that's, if that's fine, then that's fine. Call confirm. Perfect. That's fine. But just always double check that title. Okay. Okay. So you're good there. So um, apply. Okay. And then at the top green, save progress, publish live, return a dashboard. So now we have a page. And again, settings, tracking code, that's where your Facebook pixel will go. Right. Right. So you want to make sure that pixels on all these pages, hit that drop down, rename that URL and just, you know, the back end of it. Uh, was it like, Thank you for thank you for scheduling. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Okay, cool. So close and then return a dashboard. Perfect. Okay, so now now we have that page. So now that's the success page that we need to put in the form. So click on my forms. Okay, perfect, right there. So click that, edit, cool. Okay, now we're, now we're good. So there's my calendar. Um, and then one thing I'll do real, real quick before we go is, is show you the, the website that I want you to take a look at to create your own little personal brand page. Okay. So save and next. Okay, so find that page right there. Sorry? Find that page. So hit external, hit the drop down, oh. cart your pages. There it is. Perfect. Save. Save and next. And then this right here, on every form. There's a welcome message, a welcome email. That's the first email that triggers the moment they fill out the form. So whether it's a seller guide, that first email can go out from here. Whether it's your calendar and they're scheduling an appointment with you, that first email, the welcome message can go out from here. But I don't send it out through here. Yeah, because I already set that up through my calendars. So that email is going to go out through, your, through my calendars Okay. But then also if it was a seller guide form and mm -hmm. we're setting up a form for a listing, we're setting up a form for a seller guide. That's the form that goes on the landing page. They opt in. There's an email that goes out to them right away, but it's not this one. What I do is I set that first email up in the sequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we could do that part later, but let's just focus on this part. So hit save and next. So don't send it out there. It's going to be sent out through the, through my calendars and then the list. So set up a list, hit change. Anyone who scheduled a, an appointment with you needs to be on a list. So yes, subscribe to list, hit the drop down, see if there's anything there. And the uh, private, I think. 
Okay, so just make one. So just um, get out of that. Hit the create list right there. Sorry. Oh, there we go. So what would you call this? My scheduled appointments. And in the public description is um, when anyone goes to unsubscribe. So they, they're on a list all of a sudden, but let's say they want to unsubscribe. That's what they'll see. So you could put something like, thank you for scheduling a call with Scott, or thank you for ske scheduling a call with you know, your business name, if you have a business name or whatever. Thank you for scheduling a call. Okay. Should I do that or should I put my name at the end? Perfect. That's fine. You can always change it, dude. Okay. So hit create. All this stuff you can change, man. None of this, none of this right. stuff is in. Yeah. Is cut. So hit add the blue one, and then save the green one. And perfect. You don't need it in a sequence right now. Advanced automations you don't need. So scroll to the bottom, save and next, and then save and next. It's a cartridge form. That's fine. And then and then you're finished. So now let's go to my calendars, and now let's connect it to that form. Right. And so in here, this is where that first email goes out. So that's why I didn't want the welcome email going out in my forms because mm. I can trigger the first email to go out through here. And that's the booking confirmation email. So we'll get to that part, but scroll down. So that's the custom marquee. You can change all that stuff. Time zone, let them select their time zone, which is fine. Save and next. And then it's right here. Click on change. So this is where you can set the time, um, set the months, the date. Yeah. So, so yeah, so I kind of went through and put days or times I'm available. Perfect. Um, so scroll down and then choose that drop down, the very bottom. This one? Very, very bottom. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay, cool. So go to the very, very top. Okay, so um, you got to always hit that green button. So save. And and let me see. Scroll. Go back to real quick. Change. Do you have what do you have for months? Do you have all of them checked? Let's see. Scroll I down. I didn't do anything because I wasn't sure what to do with it. Yeah. See right here. So that's what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't have like September, October, November, December. The way I have mine set up is I'll go from. So just uncheck those August, September. Because if I go to your calendar right now, I'm going to schedule an appointment for December 3rd. So do you always have to, to change these then? Yeah, I'll update them every, every now and then. Yeah, I'll update them, easily come back well, over I mean, here. Like if I pick five days out all the time, I have to... You don't want to really do that. I'll, I'll do, like in my case, I do it every, every 15 days. So if you look at mine, it's July, July 1st to the 15th. And then boom, on the 15th, I'll come back and I'll set it for 15th to the 30th. Oh, so that's how far, this is how far out people can schedule it. To the 31st. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, it's not like you're running traffic to your calendar. So it's not like you're going to have a shitload of people, bro. Like at right. all, at all. Oh, I thought it was automated. Like just anytime people brought it up, it only goes five days out. So no, like, not at all. You set that. Oh, okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So I do that right here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I might as well just keep it there, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I probably won't start getting calls today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's cool. So, um, so now go to the very top, hit save, and then and then save and next, and then right here, that now again I can I can hit on booking confirmation. I can change it and I can make no message goes out there, right? Like I can I can easily have the message the welcome message the first email go out through my forms. And I can hit change, hit change on booking confirmation. Yeah, so hopefully it stayed. I can easily put no, right? Because there's already a message going out through my forms over there. Mm -hmm. But I chose not to have it go out over there and have it go out right here. 
Right. So it's just preference. It's just what you want to do. So I just leave it here just to keep it simple. Um, so if you hit that pencil, that's when you go into the email and that's when you can write out your email. Yeah. So it, yeah, it looks like it already changed it. So I've already done that. Perfect. So save I pretty much just copied your template. So, okay, good, good. So hit the green one. You got to always hit the green one or you're never going to save a next. So just hit that green one. Whenever you see green right there, oh, okay. click it, save a next, save a next. So, and then did you integrate your Google calendar? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So save a next. Okay, cool. Save a next. And then, um, yes, synced with your Google calendar. Perfect. Okay. You're good. So you're good with that, bro. That, uh, actually scheduled to subscribe to a list. So hit the change and, and find that list that you created or that you set up. My scheduled appointments. Perfect. Add. Okay, good. Save. Okay, good. All right. Save it next. And then there goes your calendar link, man. So just, um, and this is like the whole funnel thing or just the calendar, just the calendar. Oh, okay. So again, the calendar is universal. You can use it for everything. It doesn't have to be in a funnel. Like it's right. It, it's, it's, it's universal. So hit the pencil and rename that J X O three, eight, like get rid of that part. Uh, so you just put like my calendar or something? Or? Yeah, you can easily put that. But then again, depending on how aggressive you're going to get with your calendar and how you're going to be, sh you know, what I do is I don't really like, like to tell you the truth, like, and, and you're a perfect example. Anytime I ever emailed you a link to my calendar, mm -hmm. I hyperlink the word, right? Like if you go to my emails that I sent you, mm -hmm. it'll say, click here to schedule your call. And I simply hyperlink those words with my calendar link. So that link, you never really see on something. Right. I'll email it to you. I'll hyperlink a word. A Click here to schedule. Oh, right. And, then you might... and it goes to my calendar. And then you can see that long ass URL, but no one cares. Yeah. But my point is, is that it's not like I'm taking that long link and emailing it to somebody. I'm not doing that. I'm hyperlinking a word, if anything. I'm linking right. it to a word in the email, if anything. But 10 out of 10 times, I schedule the appointment on my end. Unless, it, unless it's in an email sequence and emails are going out, click the button below, it'll take you to my calendar. Unless I'm getting appointments that way, when I'm doing my reaching out, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm prospecting daily, because that's what I still do, I'm still in the trenches prospecting every damn day, and I'm asking that person for an appointment the next day, I'm not sending them my calendar link. Mm -hmm. So if you reach someone through the DM, hey, cool, okay, you want to chat tomorrow? Okay, great, I'll send you my calendar link and schedule your best time. Hell no, I never do that. That's basic sales 101. Hell no, I'm not sending you my link and waiting for you to schedule. You're never going to schedule. Tell me what time works best. Tomorrow? Right. Okay, cool. What time? 10 a.m.? Okay, cool. I'll add us to the calendar and I'll email you a confirmation. So they never mm -hmm. see my link anyways. Right. Then you would go in and kind of just put... So how do you... So then you just go in and put their yep. name and yep. email address? Yep. All I need from you is your email and best time. Okay. I'll schedule it. Okay. I'll schedule it through my cartridge calendar and I'll email you a confirmation. You're going to get a booking confirmation. You're going to get a freaking email reminder confirmation. I'll talk to you tomorrow at two, mm -hmm. you know, okay. because I'm not sending them my link, dude. They're freaking, what are they going to do? Freaking take forever to get to it. Right. I never schedule the damn call. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so no, I'm, I'm asking for the appointment. Like I'm asking for their email. I'm asking for their best time. I'm scheduling it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, what I'm saying is it kind of almost doesn't matter what you put right there, but yeah, no. my calendar would be cool. Um, because again, anything you're going to link up will either be in an email and it'll be hyperlinked to a word or to a button, or it'll be on your page tied to a button. So you're never really promoting the link. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. So, but if anything, save that link for your, for your sake bookmark it at the top so you always have access to that calendar right away and as you're talking to people boom okay let me just pull up my calendar let me schedule this let me make sure i have have availability 
right? Mm -hmm. You're scheduling it from your end. So you always want to be able to have access to that link right away. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, so, so just go ahead and open it up, copy it, open a new tab and just bookmark it real quick. there cool man strategy call perfect perfect so there goes your link dude there goes your link and then once you once you integrate a domain you can then change that vavicon the little icon there mm -hmm. you can change that want to integrate a domain right so that logo your company name do you have that dot com yeah okay yeah, you, I should, from GoDaddy. you should integrate it dude integrate it tie all these pages to that dot com yeah okay so yeah, um, i just got to go into my facebook page because i don't have anything else <laughs> no that's fine you don't need a website the dot com is now going to be tied to all your Karcher pages. Oh, I see what you mean. So okay. now all these pages that you're creating for your business are mm -hmm. all that domain. Right. So as you're clicking on the pencil, as we publish live, and I'm telling you to click on the pencil to change the letters after the forward slash, mm -hmm. you would hit the drop down and then you would see your domain. And now you're tying every page to your domain with a new forward slash. So it wouldn't say Scott McGinnis dot Karcher. I would say yep. McGinnis media services.com forward slash. Thank you page forward slash schedule right. forward slash call confirmed. Right. Yep. And okay. then, and then you'll be able to put a little logo in the Fabicon. So you don't see that Karcher logo there. It'll now be your logo, but you wouldn't use that logo that you have right there. That wouldn't be a Fabicon. If anything, grab a logo of just the, of the maybe of of the image, not your name, you yeah, know. If I anything, do have it separately. yeah, yeah, have it separately and make that the little favicon. That'll be cool. Okay, let's go back to Karcher real quick, and let's click on um click on my pages, and this is what I want you to kind of take a look at later on. Click on my pages. Click on the um the green button right there to the right page, and and take a look at all the different um personal brands personal. I think it's called personal blog. Scroll to the very bottom. Personal branding. Yeah, dude. That's okay. what I would do with, if I were you. I would find a template here and, and, and create a cool little page of you. And then that goes to a link to my calendar. Like, hey, call yep. me. Yep. Yep. Okay. And that's what you share. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, bro. So, hey man, I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Good. I know that was a shitload right there, bro. But no, no, hopefully... this is what I needed. You know, I needed this. Yeah, man. So, um, there's a lot of stuff to do right there. And and whenever you get stuck, man, just freaking let me know. You know, let me know. Hit me up. Try to make our Tuesday and Thursday calls. Jump mm -hmm. into the Facebook group. Um, but in the Facebook group, I, I, I'm not in there. And, and I, and I kind of, to tell you that I kind of hate Facebook groups. I'm not, I don't really like being in them at all because mm -hmm. you can go and ask a question, which is cool. I mean, the support in there is off the chain, but in any, in majority of Facebook groups, what up E like, even if it was an insurance group or whatever, real estate group, whatever, like, especially when there's thousands of people in there, mm -hmm. you'll go ask a question and you'll get thousands of replies. And it's like, shit, dude, I just really need one. Like, I just need one answer. You know what I mean? Like, I, now I got 50 different answers. You know what I mean? So right. to be in there to kind of see what everyone's posting and, and be on the same page is important. Like, that's important. But if you ever have a question, you can get a lot of them answered on the Tuesday and Thursday calls because that's a live Q&A with Karcher support. Or you can always jump on with me. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll definitely you know, so, that. Yeah, dude. So freaking hit me up, bro. Get, get all that stuff. Knock out one of these pages right here, man integrate mm -hmm. your domain and then, and then tie it to one of these branding pages. And that's the page you want to bring to the market. Right. Right. Yep. You know, that makes sense. Okay. Cool, yeah. I'll get working on all that stuff. Right on um, man. Right on. Hey, when are you going back to Florida? 
Uh, probably in the fall when, in fall? when um, my kids can <clears throat> attend school. Gotcha. Then, then work will expect me back. But right now they're allowing me to just stay here in Canada. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right on, man. Because we're lighting up Florida with solar, bro. And so all yeah, the agents that you're that. talking to. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like there's definitely a lot of sun there. That's for sure. Yeah. And, and so where I'm pivoting is teaching agents how to supplement, how to diversify their income. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm shifting is after speaking to so many agents, a lot of them can use an extra income and there's sure. absolutely no product like solar. There's not, dude, a solar deal pays out more than what most agents make on a real estate deal mm-hmm. with, 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 with little headache. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm going to teach a lot of these real estate agents how to start reaching out to their previous clients how to start reaching out to future clients and simply referring solar. Cause someone's hit when you go close on that escrow and you go close on that new home, someone's going to be hitting them up on, on, on home security. Someone's hitting them up on cable. Someone's hitting up on freaking solar. They're going to get, everyone's going solar. Mm-hmm. So the agent, if they can be the simple referral, you know, and refer solar to that homeowner and make 10 grand to do it, that's what's going on. Yeah. So as you help these agents with marketing, I'm telling you, majority of them are going to not have the money and are going to be thankful that you show them a way to get money. And that's by, by simply offering solar to their existing clients. And it's a simple referral. It's not turning agents into a solar salesperson. No, it's simply a referral, like mm-hmm. refer, like open up your mouth, refer them to our platform. We talk to them. We close the deal. That real estate agent, would make just, just to refer it. They'd make anywhere from anywhere to any, just to refer it just on the referral side, they'd make anywhere from five to 10 grand. Wow. Just to refer it, bro. Like not even talking to the homeowner other than mentioning it. Hey, Hey, Hey John, you just closed. Hey, will you consider solar or are you going to consider solar or would you want to consider solar? Cause I have a friend that is into solar. They're building a huge business and they offer free quotes to all of my clients. You mind if I get you in touch with him? That's it, bro. That's it. And because that referral came from you, for example, or that agent, that agent can make a lot of money, bro. Like a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. Yeah. And and that's why. Yeah. I've been watching your videos. So I've been learning a little bit more about it. Oh, bro. Like I'm telling you, man, like I, I ran ads for these people. Now I'm going to be running ads for myself for solar only because the commission is so big. Like I'll, I'll be making anywhere from anywhere from 10 to 15 grand per deal. (laughs) So wow. it makes sense to run Facebook ads, like everything I'm telling agents to do, Hey, go out there and put yourself on video. I'm going to be doing it in my local area, putting myself mm-hmm. out on video and running Facebook ads to capture leads. Yeah. You know, so that could be big too for you, man. When you get back to Florida, like one, sure. one, one solar deal would, would probably make you more than what you're going to make with all these damn real estate agents. Yeah, true. That is you know, true. So, so let's stay in touch for sure, bro. Let's stay in touch for sure. Message me anytime. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Later. Okay.